Hello everybody, hope you are doing good. So in this video, I'll be talking about my experience at Collins Aerospace as an intern and uh, how I got into it and um, what are the perks and many other such related stuff. So uh, I hope you would like it and without further ado, let's get into the video. If you're not familiar about Collins Aerospace, once again, Collins Aerospace is a multinational aerospace company which deals with both commercial and defense technologies. It is a part of Artix Corporation, which has three major business segments, Collins Aerospace, Pratt & Whitney, and Raytheon. Collins Aerospace specializes in avionics, seating, cargo systems, landing gear, and other such secondary equipment for aircrafts. Then we have Pratt & Whitney, which is known for its reliable aircraft engines. Many of the uh, airlines, including Boeing, Airbus, and well-renowned well aircraft manufacturers also depend on Pratt & Whitney for their engines. Then we have Raytheon Technologies, which is known for the defense technologies, the missiles, the rockets which it creates. And these are also used for various other applications, even including space applications. How I got the internship? Well, I have made a video regarding the interview process previously. Uh, you can go check it out on my channel. I'll link it up to you in the description also. So yeah, that's uh, that explains how the interview process went. But yeah, uh, uh, to brief it out, in my fourth year, I had the opportunity to apply for a technical role at the company. And after a competitive selection process, I was fortunate enough to be one of the eight selected candidates. The role I was offered was technical documentation. Now, let, let me be real, technical documentation isn't my interested field. I was looking for more hands-on job, something which does not restrict me towards a laptop, uh, you know, or just sitting in front of a computer and working. But once again, uh, you got to also understand the fact that getting into a core company is a big thing. Okay. And since that's what I wanted, uh, I, I was ready to take the chance because later on, once you get into a core company, then you can also opt for, you know, jumping towards a different department, but that's a different case. We'll, maybe discuss that in some other videos okay so accepting this offer also meant that uh, i was not able to apply for any other similar level roles as per my college placement policies uh, and however uh, the opportunity to work with college service was something i couldn't pass up okay uh, once again core company it had a uh, good pay and once again uh, getting into a core company is difficult but later you can change departments so uh, I was ready to uh, settle for a core company even though I wouldn't be working for the job which I like initially coming down to the internship experience so far after a few months uh, from selection Collins Service Base was extending an internship offer as well well we were free to move on to other internships but the thing is that it allowed us to gain more hands-on experience before transitioning into full-time roles and this internship is also serving as a training period where we were evaluated based on our performances. Since starting, I had an amazing experience at college okay, because it has a great work culture. Everyone is incredibly supportive, they are welcoming. Team here is always willing to guide us, mentor us. Especially if I am to talk about my team, I am uh, very much fortunate that the team which I have got into is considered one of the best teams out there uh, in terms of its corporate cooperation in terms of how it's able to deliver quality uh, documentation. By working with such individuals, you also get exposure out to how to work like them, how to be like them. And even though I don't like technical publication once again, but I think it's good to have such a team. In my current role for uh, technical publications, we, we are using certain industry standard tools also. We use FrameMaker, we use Illustrator, IsoDraw, and these tools are of course used across many aerospace and manufacturing industries for documentation and compliance purposes. Again, uh, I'm still in the learning phase. It's been, I don't know, maybe two, three weeks now, but it's it's okay to gain, you know, this hands-on experience with these technologies. And again, uh, let me also tell you one more thing. As, as, as there is with any professional workplace, Confidentiality is also a key responsibility here at Collins. So at the start of the internship itself, at the very first day when we entered the company, we were provided with the necessary resources, including company assigned work systems. We had a workstation 
we are also provided related tech we will have like in any other company you'll have your own employee id and uh, other related stuff uh, which you might not, not elaborate much further into it well i can't share the specific project details that's the problem but yeah i can say that the structured approach to learning and uh, training at college self space is incredibly beneficial for interns uh, you know even if you are doing just documentation also documentation is also a skill okay it may be time consuming it may be boring but it is a skill which is in demand okay and as long as you are okay with learning i don't think you have a problem over there okay. so yeah, let's say even uh, if you are not interested even after your 6 months of internship with tech pubs make the choice uh, you you tell your hr regarding it that uh, sir i sir madam i uh, i want to shift to this this department the hr team will coordinate with you and they'll assess you based on what skills you have and then they'll decide whether you can shift to the other department or not there might be a waiting period uh, some some companies say that you have to wait one and a half year some companies say two years i don't know exactly how it works over here Uh, but yeah you may you might have a waiting period before you actually get transition to the department of your choice and some final thoughts if i had to share uh, uh, again really excited for this journey with consular space exposure the learning environment the chance to work with industry experts makes this internship you know kind of fascinating or uh, what do you say kind of internship which you'd like to remember if there's any such details which i find is worth sharing i'll definitely share with you guys uh, so stay tuned uh, if you have any further intern uh, questions if you have any further questions regarding this internship drop them down i would happy to share my insights with you yeah i think this will end the video thank you bye bye